New Zealand apples went on sale in Australia this week, but there doesn't appear to be any appetite for them. After nearly a century, Kiwi exporters have managed to get their fruit through quarantine, but getting them onto supermarket shelves could prove a greater struggle, as New Zealand correspondent Dominic Schwartz reports. It's been 90 years in the making. And sending apples to Australia for us is like winning a World Cup. And the next World Cup, Richie, this is for you. But winning the Rugby World Cup might be easier for New Zealand than getting Australians to eat kiwi apples. We don't want them on the stand, because we've got plenty of Australian apples, and that's what we want, local, growing apples. Hawke's Bay producer-exporter Apollo Apples is testing the waters, <laughs> taking a crate of its finest to Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. To be on the tarmac with the fruit being loaded, wonderful experience. Biosecurity Australia may have given the green light to New Zealand apples, but Australia's big retailers as yet have not. Both Coles and Woolworths say they have no plans or desire to sell kiwi apples. At the Sydney produce market, the first New Zealand imports are barely getting a bite. The interest has been very limited to, to date. I mean, there's a new item and it's politically sensitive in Australia. But exporters believe that over five years, their different varieties will entice Australians to eat more apples. Australians only eat about half as number of apples that we consume here in New Zealand, so there's a lot of opportunity over there. And there are always the expats. There's a lot of Kiwis who live in Australia as well, and, and I'm sure they're looking forward to eating a nice, crunchy, juicy apple like this. Yeah, I think they'll go pretty well. They're really tasty. <laughs> what about the fact that Australians are pretty patriotic too? Um, that'd be interesting, but I think the taste will probably win over. How many people in Australia would have thought you'd drink New Zealand wine? But now you've tasted Sauvignon Blanc, it's a different taste profile, and it's now one of your most popular wines in Australia. New Zealand growers hope apples will follow the same sales trajectory in Australia as Kiwi wine. Dominic Schwartz, ABC News, Auckland.